Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Windows uh, PowerShell in Visual Studio Code. Let me open uh, Visual Studio Code. And so in the previous video, I show you how to get started with Markdown in Visual Studio Code. At that time, when we try to configure um, the terminal, it didn't work. So this is the error message that um, we received and you might probably uh, get the same error if you are using uh, uh, Visual Studio Code for the first time and also the terminal for the first time. And so during that video, we didn't have time to go through the process to uh, fix this issue. And so this is uh, what this video is about. Um, I'm going to go through the process to fix this one. Hopefully it will work. So by the way, I don't use uh, Windows very often. Um, my uh, main uh, machine is uh, Linux. so. Um, I'm going to try out see if it works or not and I did Google and also find some solution uh, so we're going to try see uh, which one uh, works uh. and I think the one that I found is that we need to open Windows PowerShell using other administrator so I'm just going to click the source icon here and then just uh, you just type uh, PowerShell don't click yet just right click and then run as administrator uh, because this is basically admin right something is dis disabled so we need to change, change the settings and so all you need to do is to type set uh, exception policy unrestricted so i'm going to type uppercase set then hyphen exception x c e r o n and policy space and restricted enter the term is not recognized or oh, oh, sorry it's like execution back to here e x e i o n Hit enter and so it's asking the execution policy protect you from scripts that you do not trust changing the execution policy might expose you to security risk disable in do you want to change so yes to all so we'll type a, um, a hit enter okay so it looks like um it's done let's close this one close a uh, visual studio call it's open again. Hopefully, uh, the problem is fixed. Okay, so it works now. So this is what you need to do. Just uh, like what I did earlier, set execution pol execution policy unrestricted. You can also check the um the description uh, below, and just copy that one paste to uh, Windows PowerShell. So make sure that you open. Uh, let me do it one more time. Uh, PowerShell and then right click one as administrator so make sure you run this one and then just type set execution policy space unrestricted then just uh, select uh, a uh, yes to all and be good to go the reason we we want this one is because uh, it's much easier to basically uh, write call and execute some command directly within here without having to uh, go through different uh, application and then to switch the interface. So this is much better. Like I said earlier, uh, you can use a Git. You can later also um, preview the website, but I'm just going here to show you what we can. If you just type Git, for example, right? so in that way you don't have to use the git command you don't have it you don't have to use conda we can also directly use conda from here let's try conda game release as you can see right you can it's the same thing like what you did using this one so i'm going to go here and a conda and a conda prompt you can do the same thing so conda em release right this is shows you all the list basically right now you can walk everything from here I'm going to show you later in this course how you can use this. It's much easier. For example, for Git, uh, you can certainly use the interface here, the built-in uh, Git uh, uh, extension here, 
uh, to commit changes but you can also use from here for example git uh, status you can type anything if you're familiar with the command um, it might be easier just to use this uh, yeah but um if you're using windows so this is the video that uh, showing you how to configure it uh, powershell so in that way you can use this one otherwise if you see the error message that means that you don't have the administrative uh, uh, previous to edit things make sure you configure it and then so in the next video i'm going to show you how to build um python package right? but this is for now that we want to fix the issue so that we don't have to worry that uh, in the next video okay uh that's uh, all for this video i will see you in my next video Take care.